Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to show you the Master Spool project that was developed by Richard Horn. He made this Master Spool project come to life because he was looking at all those spools that are pure waste when you have finished all the filaments on the spool. So he went on to design a Master Spool that would allow filament manufacturers to ship out only the refills they have on the spool shipment. And they want the plastic used in the spool, so let's have a look after the intro. So the basic idea of the master spool is that you print out your own spool, uh, and this is a design. He has made several versions of this, and this is version 4, the final version that is available now on his Thingiverse page. And I will link to this design in the video description. But this is a two-part piece and it's screwed together. And the idea is that you put the filament in on here and close it up. And when you're done, you just open the spool again and put in a new filament. So there are several features in the spool. And one thing that I really like is, is the basic idea of re reusing the core and just ordering the filament and the filament shipment is then looking like this and this is from Das Filament. Das Filament was one of the manufacturers or the at least that I know of. I think there are one or two that has produced master spool refills and Das Filament showed a version of the filament packet the next day I think after Richard posted the video on the master spool so they were really quick on getting on to the idea. But this is how the filament is shipped and then you don't have to pay for shipment of the plastic spool. You just pay for the shipment of the filament itself. So you get cheaper shipping and saves on the environment to not having to ship plastic back and forth the world. So that's a good thing. And I'm going to unpack this and, and put it on the spool. There's, um, so there are zip ties that hold the plastic filament in place and there are grooves in the spool that the, that aligns to. So I'm gonna open up the spool and open up the filament and see how it goes together. So like I showed you in the beginning, the spool is screwed in and here there are grooves in the spool that the plastic wraps align to. And also there's a hole in the plastic where the end goes. So what you do is just open up the spool and, and take out the filament from the plastic pack. Here in the back is a sticker that you can stick into onto the spool to tell you what filament it is. The coil is neatly wrapped together and first thing I want to do is turn it in a way that the end that goes into the groove is facing upwards and then align the plastic wraps to the grooves in the, in the spool. So it goes on like this. Here you can see how the plastic wraps align to the grooves and here's the end that is aligned to this hole and you can just stick the end into the groove here so it will be fastened and then what you do is take this part and this has a thread from the inside and that aligns with the threads in the part. Now when, when you tighten it fully the plastic wraps are not aligned but you'll, what you do is just clip it from the outside and you lock it in. Here I took the end and there's a neat way to store the filament end. There's a, there's a groove that you can thread it in and it doesn't bend the filament too much and you can store the end of the filament like so. So that's a new idea to put the filament through and back out again in the same direction. Normal spools have the holes on the side and this is a very neat thing but now just remove the, the plastic wraps. There we have the filament ready to be used. This is uh, pretty sturdy when the filament has been put on. This is a PLA filament and comes with a sticker that you can place here on the, on the master spool. I printed out two spools and I want to test this one out and I want to have an extra spool available and I've been using this for the maker box samples and I just uh, unwind this, put the samples on and, and close it down and I've seen some people talking about there might be a good idea to create a smaller version of this to accommodate smaller samples but uh, maker box samples just uh, go around and they can rotate freely and, and this is a very good option to use with uh, Makerbox samples. Uh, if you want at a 
later time store away the filament and use the spool for another refill. You can just insert plastic ties back in and you just thread them in and, and reapply in all three places. So it's easy to take it apart and, and put in a new refill. So you don't have to print out a lot of master spools, just the number you want to have at hand this time. So there's a good good amount of space for clearance in the in the master spool to reapply the plastic wraps. So now I've inserted the wrap again and then I can just remove it again and, and store this away in a in a ziplock bag. So it's a neat way to remove the filament and store it. It's a good option. You don't want to print out hundreds of <laughs> the master spools. The idea is to save plastic so you just want to have a few of those around and use the refills as needed and, and change them out like this. So it's a good Good option to just store this in a ziplock bag and, and keep track of the end. We don't lose the end into the filament roll. This is the, the general idea of the master spool project for manufacturers to release a standard set of filament. And the manufacturers can ship different amounts of filament as long as they comply to the inner diameter and the method of tightening the filament together can easily create half a kilo or, or this is 850 grams of refills and you can do different sizes of refills using this inner diameter and, and the locations of the straps and it's easy to apply and use on the master spool. So I hope more manufacturers will get on the bandwagon and produce refills for the master spool project. It's a very neat idea. And so this was my short video on the master spool project. I want to get behind this idea and hopefully more people will ask manufacturers on producing master spool refills. There's a lot of filament manufacturers and enough people ask for refills when they are doing their orders. More manufacturers will probably get in the bandwagon. Some manufacturers already have spools made of paper like protopasta and that's a good thing for the environment. But reducing the amount of spools shipped through the vault is, is a good thing. And it will save on shipping also so it's a good thing for everybody. I think. So for now, I, I thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one.